All right. So, thank you, human, for this wonderful topic. Uh, this is going to be in between the videos that I am trying and failing to upload about curses. So, while I am struggling to get this uploaded, I will be talking about this for a few minutes. As always, in between society and the church and why this matters, not from any sort of biblical input whatsoever. I'll just include it because it's there and it's important and it impacts people whether they like it or not. This goes above and beyond countries like the U.S. However, it does matter also because Thanksgiving is here. It is Thanksgiving today. And honestly, I'm very thankful for a lot that has happened. The good and the bad, even though it's honestly a little bit harder to love the bad stuff. But the topic is about love. And human is mostly coming at this from a point of view with about relationships, which is something that everyone has to deal with in some way, shape, or form. It's not always going to be a romantic relationship. It may be something that is very family related. It could be relatives, maybe? Not just simply like husband and wife type of uh, relationship. With that said, love, the media, uh, I mean, it's always portrayed as a feeling, as if love is nothing more than emotions, a chemical reaction within your brain or, or whatever. It completely ignores the fact that love is also a series of actions. And you can kind of view this when you get behind why people feel the way they do as well as why they do what they do. Why parents put up with their kids and some of the, the annoying things, the stupid things, and sometimes the downright dangerous and rebellious things that kids always do. I mean, there's no other reason to explain why they would do it. And some parents don't even do that. So that just proves right there there is a lack of love in their life. Uh, cleaning up after babies when they take a dump in their diapers. That's another common one that many single parents have to deal with. I just I should just say parents, not even single. Because it, being single or being together doesn't really matter. But what matters is you don't have that support when you are actually low on the love job, so to speak. As if everything could be boiled down to feelings and actions. I mean, really. We do a lot of things. I mean, especially when you're talking about men. They work because what? Because they need to make an in They need to have an income? They, they work because they love this job? They love their work? Yeah. That is not really feeling or emotional based at all. That is also not along lines of like just purely actions either. They're good at what they do, and therefore they love it, or there is an attachment of some kind that just, it's that like, well, you see, I absolutely love this, and I love everything about it, so I'm going to keep doing it, or it's going to be some other aspect like the interaction there, you know, you're very smart, you're very gifted in this one area, so you absolutely love working with these people, you love doing what you do. And that is love in action, or one of the forms of love in action. It's like society for, forgets that there's more than just simply feelings and butterflies and stuff like that. Maybe because it's the easiest thing to ever talk about. In all honesty, it's probably going to be a combination of all of that plus more that is not covered here. And as always, going back to the channel and the whole point why this matters, it's because... Well, if you're low on these feelings, what are you going to have to do? You're going to have to rely on something a bit more solid and concrete. you got to have a foundation even for these feelings and actions. So in other words, when trouble hits the fan and you are, your backup is against the wall, what are you going to do in that situation with that per se loved one? Or when that job gets harder? And the love just kind of disappears and dries up. Dries up. Yeah, 
I said it right. Yeah, so what are you going to do? Where, where, like, where are you going to turn to? Where are you going to go to then? For some people, they're going to need to take some time off first. They need to recharge. And people in that sense, they're like batteries. They need time to rest and recharge, just like they need time to be able to do other things. You know, like responsibilities and stuff. Like, everything has a time and place. Just like love. Love has a time and place as well. That should be mentioned more, but it's not. The other reason that needs to be said here, you can't do much and succeed without love. You really can't. In all honesty, I've been experimenting with some other people online with this group that I'm involved with, trying to make a positive impact on our life here. By, I'm not directly referencing or talking about it, but I've been wondering if you can actually replace love with other other things to actually get people back into the game and on their feet, so to speak. And one of those ways is by talking about what they love doing, like desire, you know, old memories, nostalgia, or addictions, trying to see what matters to these people and to try to use it to help them out to get them back on their feet, so to speak. Because in all honesty, when you give up hard, it's like nothing matters and all of the feelings just disappear. And as Thinking Ape did talk about in the other video that I will be doing about how people fall into the void and it's like their feelings just shut off, that is downright dangerous. I'm a veteran and I know a little bit about that because guess what? I got back from my second employment and I was seeing, seeing things in shades of gray where nothing really felt like it mattered. Why? What was the point? What was the purpose? You know, love was completely gone out of the picture. Like, uh, when you were seeing in shades of gray as if nothing matters, that should worry you because then your feelings, your perception, a lot of that is being messed with. There are ways to work on that, ways to kind of repair and fix it all. Because honestly, when it's destroyed and when it's gone, it's very hard to get back. Love is very much like that. If you have a foundation, if you have something very solid for it to, to rest upon, you can recover, even if it is broken. And as I've told some of my other friends who are disabled, you know, when you break, it's not like you simply end. You merely change. Love itself can change. And as evident by some of the other tw twisted people out there, Love itself can change too. So in that regards, love needs to be matured. It needs to be. It needs to be grown in a sense. And that's why so many friendships, when they turn into relationships, that's why they succeed. I mean, you don't really hear much about that. You just hear about all the, the garbage and stuff that happens. Love itself is a, is very much can be equated to like a, a flower in the sense where it, it takes time and energy for it to grow up and succeed, for it, for there to be, um, for it to bless others in the long run. There's a lot of action that it requires for love to succeed. And I know, you know, whoever said, you know, all you just need to have is love. Love itself can be a foundation, but honestly, it's a foundation with a very short supply, and it needs to be replenished. So, with that said, there's a lot here to think about. It depends on how deep you want to go, really. Anyway, these are my thoughts on this very, very deep and complicated topic of love, and I hope you enjoy it. Until next time.